Sakafet YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today's requested recipe is for some stuffed peppers. Hello my darlings, today we're making some stuffed peppers. Here I have four bell peppers, I was lucky enough to get one of each color. Give it a good rinse, okay, make sure to wash it very well. And I'm going to be cutting the top of each of the peppers and removing the core, okay. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to do. I'm just trying to empty out as much of the core as I can from the insides. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to set it aside to get down to business. As part of my seasonings for the filling, I'm just going to be using that little bit that we cut off at the top. I'm just chopping it small and I'm going to be using it in my filling, okay? Because it's a really good way to not really waste anything. And you know, I'm team waste nothing over here. Nothing now waste, all right? I always say this to you guys. <laughs> so yes, my loves, we're going to chop all of that up. And once it's all chopped up, I'm going to show you the remainder of my seasonings because we're going to need some good flavor in there, okay? Once all my seasonings were nicely prepped, I'm using this frying pan and I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of butter, allow it to melt. I actually ran out of oil, so I just thought, let me improvise and use some butter. But you also need to be very careful, especially when using mince. Sometimes it can end up being so oily. So if you're using oil, just use about a teaspoon or you can use nothing at all if your pan is nonstick, okay? I'm using some lean beef, but you can use some ground turkey, you can use pork, you can use whatever you prefer, but I really like it with the beef, so this is why I am gonna use that. I'm gonna brown it, as you can see here. It took about two, three minutes to brown, and I'm gonna start by adding in my garlic and the rest of my fresh seasonings, okay? Now make sure to check the description box for all of the ingredient lists, that way you don't miss out on any of the seasonings that I'm using. Now that all of my fresh seasonings are in, guys, look at how amazing this is looking. Like, I really love the way it's looking and my heat is sort of like on a medium high. I'm going to season the pot by going in with some sea salt, some black pepper. I'm going to put some parsley in there as well. And I'm also going to be putting in some oyster sauce. If you don't have oyster sauce, you can use some soy sauce. You could also use some Cajun seasoning, but because I'm using a little bit of chili peppers, that's going to give it a little bit of heat. So that's why I'm not really bothering too much with the Cajun seasoning. I also went in with some smoked paprika, which is going 
gonna give it some flavor and some depth and it's also gonna give it such a beautiful color as well if you don't have the smoked paprika you can just use the regular paprika that'll work perfectly fine I'm going in with half a cup of chicken stock and I'm gonna be using some sweet corn because I just have so many cans in my cupboard and I need to use it up okay my family also really likes sweet corn but if you're not a fan you can just use whichever vegetables you prefer you can use some black beans regular beans guys make this unique make it your own put your own little twist on it i won't be mad at you okay now i'm just gonna go in with my cooked rice this is some leftover rice that i had from yesterday um it's about a cup and a half of rice and i'm just gonna mix that in and check it for salt check it for flavor make sure you taste it before you set it to one side because there's no going back okay so adjust the seasonings to your preference add some all-purpose if you feel like it's missing a little something because you know sometimes you don't want to keep on adding salt and more salt and more salt so yes my darlings this is looking so amazing like you can literally just sit down with a bowl of this on its own and just have it oh my goodness so so good So while we were cooking our filling, I did go ahead and preheat my oven to 200 degrees Celsius and now it's time to fill up my peppers. If you want, you can always just push the peppers into the oven for about 10 minutes just to soften it up a bit. But me personally, I love the little crunch that it gives so I didn't bother to push it in. But if that's something you prefer to do, definitely push it in for about 5-10 minutes. It will soften the peppers a little bit and you can enjoy it like that, okay? I'm going to ensure to stuff these peppers to the brim, making sure I press it down. That way it's stuffed in all corners, okay? You don't have to stuff yours as much, but I'm trying to use up as much of the filling as I can and i am just packing it in so once it's all in i'm just gonna go ahead and top it with some mozzarella cheese that's my favorite cheese to have with stuffed peppers but you can use some cheddar you can use whichever one you prefer and i'm also gonna top it with some parsley before pushing it into the oven and it's gonna bake for about 15 minutes on 200 degrees celsius and this was it my darlings i also just garnish with a little bit of smoked paprika and and it's all ready so i know you guys want to see how it looks on the inside so i'm gonna cut into one of them just to show you but yes my loves i really hope you enjoy this recipe if you try don't forget to tag me on instagram at terrian's kitchen it is a pleasure having you here and i'll see you again in my next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye